Hi everyone, this is Heather Lautinen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to clean up this image inside of Photoshop, but first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on our website. My good friend Susie from Photography by Susie sent me this image so that I could use it as an example on how to just use a few quick tools to improve an image. We're going to extend the backdrop in this upper right corner, and then we are going to use the liquify tool in order to shape the baby. I know that it sounds strange, but just stick with me. Let's begin by pressing Command or Control J on the keyboard in order to duplicate the background layer. Next, I'm going to press M on my keyboard in order to select the rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to click and drag, say, this area right about here. Then, I'm going to press Command or Control T in order to access the free transform tool place my cursor in the top right corner and click and drag out and up to the right until that edge is good, right about there. Enter or return to commit that change and then Command or Control D to deselect. Now I do see a little bit of a line there that I'm gonna wanna smooth out. In order to do that, I'm going to press S on my keyboard in order to access the clone stamp. I'm going to make sure that the opacity of the clone stamp is down to about 50% in the tool options bar. And then I'm going to press Alt or Option and click in order to define a source. And I'm just going to start to lightly brush over this line in order to blend those two areas together. And you can do that really quickly. I also noticed that I missed this tiny little corner up here. So let's go ahead and fix that while we're there. I'm going to press spacebar in order to access my pan tool just to reposition this a little bit. And next I'm going to use the liquify tool in order to change the shape of the baby. I'm going to press M in order to grab my marquee tool again. Click and drag to select this area. This just helps the liquify tool to work a little bit faster rather than staying with the whole canvas. In order to access that tool, it's Command Shift X on the Mac, that's Control Shift X on the PC. Now there's a few things you wanna be aware of when using the liquify tool. Obviously you can change the size of the brush with the slider or with the left and right bracket key, but one thing that's really important is the pressure. If the pressure is too high and you click and drag, then you tend to get things like this, which are not helpful nor productive. <laughs> so I'm going to undo that. Typically you wish for that pressure to be pretty low. And if you hover your cursor over the word, it says this changes the distortion strength. Let's take a look at the density. This changes the brush edge strength. So it's very similar. I typically leave it about in the middle and it seems to work well. So what I'm going to do is make this brush even a little bit bigger and just click and push in on this side in order to smooth out that edge. Uh, now, listen, I don't make up the rules. I just follow them. I know that in newborn photography, it's much more aesthetically pleasing to have the newborn look as if it's in a nice straight cocoon rather than have more organic edges. I don't know why, I just go with it. So also what I was doing is clicking and pushing in on the bottom here. Then I am going to press OK to return that result. Command or Control D to deselect. Let's back up a little bit with the Command or Control minus on the keyboard and take a look at the overall before and after. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.